And that in, in itself is an act of protest. So, ha ha ha! Oh, I need a hug. What's been happening? Two things are happening. One, uh, Medicaid. Setting it up is a royal pain in the ass, and many people have said to me, I really think that they go out of their way to make the process of getting it and setting it up as complicated as early possible so that people in need just, like, quit out of exhaustion, and then the government saves money. And I have I do not doubt that. And then, for some reason, right here, this part needs to be, like, it got to, like, it kind of strong pain because first of all ow pain pain is exhausting unpleasant do not enjoy it but also when it comes to my spine yeah either i get like a neurosurgeon who's like were you in a car accident i'm like no why he goes so why is your spine like that good fucking question yet when it was time to maybe talk about giving me a spine brace he's like you don't want that that shaves or that or right here well that's nothing so it's either like if you've been in a car accident but I'm not going to help you, or that's nothing. I'm not going to help you. So it just leads me to be sometimes being a shitload of pain at times and figure it out myself. And it's just, it's just. It's fucking So, okay. So being mostly bed bound. Um, see, here, here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? I have noticed, and I'm not throwing any shade, I'm just making an observation of what is. When I was in the hospital, and then eventually I was in, I was in the rehab slash nursing home, I had a lot of visitors. However, I've noticed that once you go home, not so many visitors. And I, I don't think it's that people don't care, it's just I think there's lots of urgency. I think that's what happens, and plus people have lives, you know, it, it's, it's fine, people make it a priority to see you, for a short period of time, but after a while they can't. They have the other shit. To, you know, they have, everyone has their own shit to deal with, right? So a lot of times, my main form of socialization is either my home health aid, but most of the time, depending on who's working and whatnot, it's social media, and really the majority of it is Twitter, which is a mixed thing. It's like there's times where it's depressing. There's times where people go out of their way to like create and then share misinformation to purposely fan the flames of hatred, or people who go out of their way to troll people in hopes to get a rise out of them. Maybe a natural, a natural disaster, or yet another shooting. As of, as, and as of late, there's been a lot of shootings happening. But there are times when I do feel a sense of community. It's it's when I have very geeky and nerdy conversations with people, or we you know, I bond with random strangers over activism. Um, and of course, there's there's the intersexual dis disabled there's the intersexual disability community, which which I I heart. Oh, it really hurts. Every time I post something, whether it's via what, this YouTube show, or I post a tweet or something like that, I think mostly bed bound. Without fail, someone else who is sometimes or mostly or all bed bound and or how or homebound housebound. Um, goes, oh my god, me too. And I'm like, oh, that's like the fifth person out there who's like, can kind of relate to what I'm going through. And more and more, I start to share, you know, like, of my experience. More and more, I kept, I'm like, there are a lot of us out here, and we are on Twitter and social media. What happened was, uh, there's this lovely human being named Dove, uh, shout out to Dove, who had sent me a DM, or a, best, a private message on Twitter, and I said, hey, you know, by the way, is there a hashtag for people who are like all or mostly or sometimes bed down and are homebound where we can all like hang out with each other because 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 Dove is 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 is, um, is mostly home, home, homebound. He's like and he goes you no know, you know I don't think there is. I'm like can we create one? So that's when we, we started brainstorming. Like at, at first it was like he was like well like like, like hashtag stuck at home, and then I was like well you know like I you know I don't want to feel like so. We're stuck at home. It's so tragic. I wanted to be somewhat like poetic and like badass, and that's when I was like, "How about like stay K collective?" Because I like the word collective. Collective sounds like you know, cool, you know. And then he's like, "Yeah," he goes, you know, "I like the word collective too, but the word stay K is like meaning like like a staycation, meaning like we do vacation at home. It kind of suggests this is by choice. We're just kind of on vacation." Whereas it's really not by choice. I'm like, true, it's true. So, but he liked the word collective. So we did it, we just started. And then I was like, oh, it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a shame we, we can't use the word homies because that would be perfect for us. But of course, that co-ops, hip-hop culture, which we, we, we want to do. 
And then he's like, well, how about, like, homebodies? And then he's like, he's like, homebodies collective. I'm like, yes, that's it, that's it. And what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section. That's where they belong. Be good to yourself, be kind to yourselves. Uh, I say to you and to myself. <laughs> Sometimes I do need a reminder. Uh, you know, let's have solidarity with each other. Leave no oppressed group behind, right? Another world is possible, y'all. Let's do this. But no oppressed group behind. And that includes stable people. That's something people forget. We are one of the largest minorities within our own right, and we also exist within every marginalized demographic. So, so again, thanks for watching this video. Bye!